in the summer, again, in Florida, it's most of the year, but any place you are in the middle of a hot, humid condition, um, one of the challenges with keeping horses in hot, humid conditions, because they're more, they naturally bred and survived in high desert. That's more of a natural environment for a horse where it's dry, it gets cold, their feet get hard as a rock. So when I lived out west in California and Colorado, the grooming was not quite as important for their health as it is living in Florida or any time you're in hot, humid conditions. That's more of the environment for alligators, reptiles, birds, that kind of thing, but not so much for horses. So keeping horses clean and trying to keep the skin healthy is a little bit of a challenge. So personally, I'm not big on shampooing the whole horse's body. I think it dries out the skin. It takes out too many of their natural oils. So what I do instead is I'm gonna show you how I groom on a regular basis. I rinse with plain water regularly and depending on the condition of their feet because they're gonna have wet feet in humid conditions with dew on the grass and that can really wreak havoc. It can bring about thrush, you can lose a lot of sole depth, their feet can get soft and squishy. The feet are like sponges, so they absorb moisture. So, and I'll show different hoof treatments for hot, humid, wet conditions, but today it's more about how do you get your horse clean if you're not going to always use shampoo. So I rinse him as much as I can without getting his body too wet, but I just rinse with plain water with a strong nozzle. I rinse until that white, foamy, salty stuff from sweating all day in the heat is gone. And then on other days, I just do a dry groom to really clean his skin instead of shampooing. So I have just a basic <coughs> curry. It's a rubber curry with some big teeth that fits in my hand. And then these brushes, the oval brushes with multiple layers, they're a little bit more expensive, but they really, really clean. So it's, it's a softer brush, but it's the sort of layers of density to this type of brush that really work. You can use any brush, but this one is a good one for getting into the skin and the layers. So when I use the curry, what I'm gonna do is not just take the dirt off. I'm actually gonna go across the muscles. So the muscles of the neck basically run this direction. So I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna kind of use the curry to massage the muscles and find, <laughs> he's very tall, it gets in my face, find a level of pressure that he enjoys. Some horses, just like a massage for us, some people like a really strong, firm rub, other people want a very light touch. All right, so I'm just gonna find what he likes. Oh yeah, that little head tilt, yeah, he likes that, right? Especially on the tighter muscles, you can give a bit of a massage, right? You can see all of this hair and dander sort of floating off. And then as I come to the back, again, I'm kind of going vertically. I might have to go a little horizontal on the belly because I can't reach that but I'm basically going vertically with my curry comb. You can see all the dirt coming out. And I'm just rubbing off all of that salty mess from sweating, just being out in the pasture. I, I'm not gonna do them as thoroughly for the video as I would do. This can take quite a bit of time. It takes some in energy, but then I'm gonna take my nicely bristled brush, and I'm gonna go over in the same direction as the hair, every place I curried really well. And no matter what shampoo you use, or if you don't shampoo at all, the sheen on a horse's coat to make them really, really shiny, you want a good quality, nice bristled brush and a really good curry comb. And it's a lot of elbow grease to put a good shine on a horse. Of course, plus the nutrition, plus the diet, plus rinsing all the sweat and the salt off of them on a regular basis. But shampooing can actually dry the skin out 
to the point that you get a dull coat or you get skin issues or you get a very itchy reactive horse. So if the horse's skin is having an issue, this is the way you clean them up without having to use shampoo, right? And it's, like I said, a lot of work. You wanna find, and you see how I just bang out the curry comb and the brush as I go. And nice long strokes with the brush in the direction of the hair. And that, even if I never shampoo this horse for a year, will put a shine on him better than a whole lot of different products. So this is an alternative to having to over shampoo the horse or if their feet are getting too wet because you're in super wet conditions for a period of time, this is how you keep the skin healthy without even having to rinse them, right? And the curry is the most important part, the curry and then a good brush to really get down to the dander. So that's how you do it.